Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Happy to Hook Creations, <clears throat> and today is Monday. It's the 11th of March, and I was going to get on this weekend, but we just had so much going on, I didn't have time, so um, I've got like, I got uh, several videos that I got to to show you. I mean, not right now, but they'll be like back to back to back. Um, and you guys have already said you didn't mind seeing my mug, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Anyway, so this video right now is going to be the mystery yarn challenge for, I believe, February. Yes, because it's March. So the mystery yarn challenge finished objects for February 2024. Yes. All right. So I don't have any of the yarn to show you. But if you, um, if I remember, because you know, guys, I'm always forgetting. If I remember, I will put the link to the video for the um, unboxing. So you can click on that and see the yarn. Because it was, oh, I don't even, how horrible. What, a, what, I'm just such a weird person because I didn't even bother to um, bring the little things in here. I know they've got to be here somewhere, you guys. Um, I'm looking, well, hold on, because I'm going, oops, I'm going through stuff right now, and I know it was just premiere, like, just premiere yarn, and then a cake of some kind. Yeah, I'll have to just send you the link, I'll, or I'll put the link to the, to that video in the description box, hold on. Okay, so... Hi to all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel and um, seeing what it's about and liking it and hitting that subscribe button. I really appreciate you guys doing that. Um, if today's your birthday, March 11th, happy birthday to you. If it's your anniversary, happy anniversary to you both. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And it's like almost eight o'clock at night. I am just now getting home from work. Um, and I thought I got to do this video before we're waiting. I just ordered pizza, um, uh, nice and simple. And I had Papa dough because <laughs> we have a Papa John's here. So, um, yeah. So while that's, while that is, um, cooking and being delivered, I thought I'd better get on here and do a couple of my videos because I need to catch you guys up on some stuff. All right. So, oh, and a lot of you had birthdays on the, the 7th. I think that was, that might have been my last video. I don't remember. Uh, let me look. So it would have been Friday the 8th because that was Frog It or Finish It Friday. So the 8th. So a lot of you guys had birth, uh, birthdays on the 7th and the 8th though. The 7th was my grandma's birthday. Um, it was her heavenly birthday. And there was a few of you that had birthdays on that day. And there was a few of you on the 8th as well. So if you, since we missed the weekend, if your birthday was the 9th and the 10th, or you had an anniversary, happy birthdays, happy anniversaries. <laughs> okay, so let's get to this unveiling, or unveiling. Uh, <laughs> not that, it's not unveiling, it's um, finished objects. So <clears throat> this is called the Mystery Yarn Challenge. It is hosted by Lori of the Armchair Chef. She will be linked in the description box below. She has been hosting this for over a year now. What she does is the people who want to be involved in this are paired with another person. She gives you several options. I always picked option one or two, I believe. One or two. Lori, I know you watch this, so you put it down there and let me know. But I think I'm option one because I send and receive. So I send a package of yarn and then I receive a package of yarn. So, um, and that's that'll be following this one. So this is for... Like I said, this is the February finished objects for the Mystery Yarn Challenge. And I already have my package for uh, March. So in another video, I'll be sharing that with you sometime. <laughs> Today, tomorrow, I don't know. You'll just see me back to back to back is all I'm saying. So what Lori would like for us to do when we receive our, our package, number one, show it off, which we do. Um, number two, they'd like for you, she also likes for you to not send more than like four colors because then it gets a little crazy because we'd like she would like one item made with all the colors that are sent to that pairing person so that's what i did and again i don't have the labels i know i'm saving them though because i'm saving up all my labels so i 
keep track of what I made. But I can tell you which yarn, like, there was four colors. One was a pink, one was a purple. That was the premier worsted weight, like, just yarn or something. And then I also had sweet rolls. I believe they were sweet rolls or sweet fruits. They were fruity. I received them from Lori of the Armchair Chef. So I wanted to make a headband. So this is the pink. This is the purple. This is the Lisa stitch, by the way, because you're going to ask me. That's the Lisa stitch. And this was the cake, one of the cakes, and this was the other cake. So didn't that, doesn't that look really cool together? I love that. And it fit my big old head because you better believe I tried it on. It's very stretchy. I love this stitch. Um, I love the knot in the middle. So there's that first one. The headband or ear warmer. <laughs> so there's that. Then um, I've been making, as you guys know, I've got a market coming up. It's not until June, but it's a five-day event. So I've been kind of playing around with some stuff. And I made a scrunchie with the yarn from one of the cakes. It was one of the cakes. I made a scrunchie and I just got a scrunchie and just, and I didn't even count it. I just did it till it was like this, like so roughly that I couldn't fit any more on there. Um, triple crochets, I believe. And yeah, so I made that. It'll probably go to one of the girls. I don't mind making the acrylic ones, but I've got all this uh, number two or number three weight chenille yarn that I'm going to make. I made multiple, <laughs> multiple colors. That's what I'm going to do. That worked out well. And I had a bunch and I showed one to my boss at work and she bought some from me. I took eight. I sold six today at work. Um, so with the purple variegated, I made a little mini. So I had a lady that ordered, or yeah, she ordered the one that I made, not the boardwalk, but the other one that I made, I believe with the unforgettable yarn. It had greens and reds. I wish I had a picture. Hmm. Darn it, guys. But anyway, be, because, you know, you make this and it's kind of stretchy. She not only used this, she said that she could wear it around her neck. This one's small because this is actually going to be for Jordan. But she put it around her head because it's, you know, it fits around her head like, well, not like that. But you know what I'm saying. She, as a bandana, just a closed head bandana. And I thought, that's pretty cool. So I made one to fit Jordan's head and it was super, super cute. So if you guys are thinking this is really quick, if you think you have a quick project to make, and then I just did two rows of front post and back post to give it a nice good stretch, nothing that's gonna be too tight around your head. Um, and of course you make it bigger if you've got a bigger head, obviously, but this is for my 10 year old granddaughter, so she doesn't have a big head. But yeah, so she wore this. Um, I don't even have, you know, I just can't find anything in this room, I feel. But I think they're still in my bin because I had that craft show a couple of weeks ago. But so this is her head and she just puts it around her head and look it. It made like, it made the cutest little, and I thought, oh my gosh, why haven't I been making these? And the only reason I made this is because someone purchased it from my shop. One of the ones that I had listed and she said, thank you so much. I used this as a head bandana. And I thought, oh. What a great idea. I'm sure it's already out there, but I haven't seen it. And I and when she said that, I was like, wow, that's great. So yeah, so I just made it a little bit smaller. My granddaughter tried it on and it fits her. And aren't those colors great? This was in the sweet or the fruit roll. I think it was called a fruit roll. I'll, I mean, if you're really interested, I'll let you know for sure. But yeah, so I made that, I made the headband. I made the, and then, <laughs> This little guy is already spoken for <laughs> because I didn't realize I made two different, he has two different colored eyes, one gold and one brown. So this was also made with the purple variegated. So the only thing I did differently was put his feet together at the bottom instead of separate them. But this is the pattern by Crystal of Chronically Crocheting. And it should say monster, like one-eyed monster. I gave him two eyes. But 
that is what I, I based this little guy on. And Amanda, my daughter, who has her own channel, it's called The Naughty Crocheter, or Naughty Crocheter. I don't know if there's a the in there. You'll know. If you guys know Amanda, you'll see my little boo-boo's face. But she was like, hmm, I think I want that. So I'm like, okay, come get it. So <laughs> she's going to come and pick it up. Um, and then fifth item was used with the other cake yarn, and I made an Octo. So <laughs> I made these little guys just kind of playing around with them just to see. I usually make Octos out of the chenille yarn, but I am very, very happy with not only how tight the stitches are, but how cute this looks. It turned out so cute, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And I've got enough. I'll probably be able to make another one. I don't know if it's going to come out this super cute. Because um, it's just like, you know, the stitches that you used. So this one was the pattern by Crochet by Jenna. And then the next one that I'm going to make is going to be the one by Rel of the Dabbling Hook. And I will show you that one when I'm finished with it. I'm going to make that one tonight after my pizza. <laughs> And then chronically crocheting. This one I didn't really, you guys gave me a lot of good ideas um, and people to follow. And I was looking around at them. I've made some that were just triple crochet. I've made some that were single crochets all the way around. And then three half double crochets inside this each single crochet. Uh, I did single crochet around, half double crochet around, and then double crochet around, which makes it a little bit bigger. I'm trying to keep it at the same price point. So I didn't want them, and I had them here. I didn't want them too big. Oops. Oh yeah, I got one of these little dangly things. One of these little that you put on your wrist and the yarn goes in there. I don't know if I like it. I'm just, I'm just telling you. Um, I mean, it's I, the, the principal idea is great, but I don't know. We'll see. I haven't tried it yet. It's really cool looking. It's kind of... Let's see, there, let's see inside of that. That looks pretty neat, but I haven't used it yet. I haven't had time. <laughs> I'll figure it out later. So, so anyway, and I, like I said, I sold six today. Uh, I've been making a bunch of black ones. This one is made with the, um, uh, Parfait, the Parfait yarn. So I made three of those with the parfait yarn, sold one black one, and this was that thin yarn that I got from Hershner's. I don't know what it's called because I don't have the, the thing. Well, there goes a white one, but this looks just like it. <laughs> um, there's that one, and I think I showed these to you already, but you see the difference? This one was all triple crochet. This one was double. So I like this size. It's a good size. This one's kind of small if you compare them. And I was wanting to sell them probably two for five. Just put them, just keep them on the little ring here. Just get them out of the way, sorry. Oh, and I went to my dollar store. They did not have any of the, um, you guys were telling me they had something there. The, oh my gosh, seriously? It's so a Monday for me, you guys. Now I've got it in my head, but the paper towel holder, you guys said you found one there for $1.25. So what I'm going to do um, is I'm just going to keep checking. I, you know, I travel for work and there's a Dollar Tree in every place that I go. So I might just pop in there and, and grab another one just so I'll have one at, at each end of the table because I've been making a bunch of these and um, yeah, one's not going to be enough. One little holder. So there's that. So that's it for this one. <laughs> I didn't really want need to show you the the um, scrunchies because I've already shown those to you, but I have made a few more since then. So anyway, let's see. Oh, I put the scrunchie back on there. What a goober! I gotta show you what I made. So the scrunchie. I'm <laughs> let's see the headband. <laughs> the cow slash cow slash um, bandana. So this is what I made with that yarn. I'm really starting to enjoy amigurumi, you guys. I really am. Um, 
and like the looks on the little kids faces and even the moms when and, and the dads i guess and the grandmas when they just look and see it's just so cute so um i'm nowhere near a professional but i do love making them i think they're adorable and they're soft and squishy um and i've got a pattern for what do they call it um a squishy pet like um like um like a not a fit i was gonna say fitbit not a fitbit a fidget spinner so kind of like that like a stress stress pet that's what i'm getting at it's a pattern for a stress pet and um the lady on the video says it only takes like 20 minutes to make so i would like to try to make one if i do i will get on here or post it on my facebook page so you guys can see it all right that's it for this one <laughs> on to the, on to the next video either today or tomorrow i'll do an unboxing for you guys and then i've got some happy donation mail that i would love to show you before i get started on the projects okay i hope you guys are having a good evening and again i'm not making anything i ordered pizza so <laughs> um have a great rest of your evening thank you so much for watching and I'll see you when I see you. Happy hooking, everyone. Bye for now.